Tradition demands Liberal MP Greg Fergus at least appear like he doesn't want this new job. But in truth, it's been his dream for years. Thank you for the applause. I know that uh, in politics, the, uh, there are only two times when people are, give you a strong applause and they're happy to see you. The day you arrive and of course the day you leave. Fergus arrived on the Hill in 1988 as a parliamentary page. He sat at the foot of the Speaker's chair. Now he's making history sitting in it. Mr. Speaker, today you are the first black Canadian to become Speaker of this House. There's going to be kids who maybe have come here and not seen themselves reflected on the walls. And that's going to change now. That change happened suddenly after his predecessor stepped down last week. I reiterate my profound regret for my error. Anthony Rhoda honored a 98-year-old Second World War veteran in the House and later said he didn't realize Yaroslav Hunka served in a Nazi unit. The events of September 22nd were unfortunate, embarrassing and hurtful. MPs on the ballot to replace Rhoda pitched their plans to restore Parliament's reputation. I will invite Jewish community leaders from across the country, as well as veterans groups who were also affected by what happened this past Friday, to this place to apologize as your speaker. Fergus said he's the right person to fix the damage done. What brought us here today requires a response. Words matter. Symbols matter. Yes, I know. Not long after, Fergus was on the job asking MPs to behave. Please treat me like that new car and don't give it a dent on the first day. <laughs> His pledge to act as a referee that ensures the rules are followed fairly and consistently in an often unruly house. Ashley, it seems that there are now questions about whether Greg Fergus's predecessor did actually follow the rules. Yeah, Adrian, the speaker is the only one who can recognize people in the House. Green Party co-chair Elizabeth May said that she asked Anthony Rhoda on multiple occasions to honor people that she felt deserve recognition, but Rhoda said no. In April, Rhoda emailed MPs reminding them of the guidelines, that those recognized have to be heads of state, parliamentary delegations, or eminent Canadians like Nobel Prize winners. And the Speaker's office said that technically the House wasn't sitting when Rhoda recognized Yaroslav Hunka, so those gu guidelines don't apply. But May says this whole incident could have been avoided if Rhoda just followed his own rules. All right, Ashley Burke in Ottawa.